Good morning, good morning, good morning, morning, morning. It's a Monday family, and that means we have a brand new opportunity. <laughs> this is Dre Abeta, coyote walking in this world, real life as a public superhero, proud two spirit indigenous warrior. It's Monday, it's Monday, it's Monday, Monday, Monday. And yes, I am an hour late family, but you know what? That's okay because this coyote made it to yoga this morning. We we made it, we made it, we made it, made it, made it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you guys know me? Did you know when I woke up this morning, I was like, today, I can do today. I can do today. But I was scared, family. I was literally scared. Today is the first day of me being back to my routine. Jiu-jitsu is coming up today, as well as back to work, family. I had been down for the count last week. I had returned from my conference, the American Educational Research Association annual meeting. There's Susie Poo family. Susie Poo, I'm doing yoga. Sorry. <laughs> Susie Poo wants to come to yoga too, family. What do you think? Should we let him? Should we let Susie Poo come do yoga with us? <laughs> Before I get started with yoga, family, I'm going to go ahead and partake of my medical marijuana. Don't forget, family, this coyote is a survivor of trauma three times over. Rape and molestation as a ramification of Indian boarding schools as a child. Police brutality in 2008, family, when I asked a, cat, a cop for his name and badge number during a racialized traffic stop, because yeah, I was worried, family. And guess what? He arrested me. I got PTSD last nine months of my life, family, because I couldn't leave my house. PTSD is real. Um, and then I recovered from that family and went on to continue being an educator extraordinaire. And then in 2018 family, I took out a white male predator who was literally sleeping with the students. So my life is all about being a superhero and overcoming um, literally the monsters in my life family. Monsters can be people. Monsters can be people who hurt people. Monsters can be institutions that are huge and do not care about us literally family so join this coyote and being the community leader that we need today so family i got my butane ash oil and i'm going to use my water pipe water bong Ta-da! and this is my rig mr monopoly mr monopoly and don't forget family i no longer get that euphoric woohoo feeling that is usually acquainted um are usually related to medical marijuana but rather really rather family it helps me um to stay calm to keep my breakfast down and to keep my anxiety um lower because like i said family when i had ptsd first diagnosed in 2008 i literally couldn't leave my house right now i am functioning i am a world leader family i am making change and helping our communities every day and my medical Oh no, family. My medical marijuana is the key to all of that. Let's see, I might be out of my butane. Oh, I might be out of my butane. Oh no, family. Oh no, I'm out of my butane. Let me go to the second second string. We're bringing in the second string, family. And this, um, this one's okay. It does not light as well. Right, so I am lighting up, lighting up the rig. I'm the rig. I'm lighting the rig. I'm lighting the rig. And it'll get slightly pink, family. Slightly red, slightly pink. And I'm warming it enough, enough to vaporize my butane hash oil when I put it on here. Trying to make it warm, family. Family. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shout out to my sisters and brothers and siblings from around the world, family. Together we make the world turn round. Round. All right, so I got my butane hash oil. I'm gonna put it on my rig and inhale. And that is how we take our medical marijuana family. Oh yeah, but for the rest of my morning, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my vape pen. It's a little bit easier and it allows me to take my medicine on the go. So this wax family is the same thing as this oil that is currently in my vape pen. It's just a different way of taking my medicine, taking my medicine. <laughs> All right, family, we have gotten our warm up. 
I have said hello. I am back on my game. Let's go ahead and get started with our chair yoga. Don't forget this coyote has chair yoga for our elders and for our family. Every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday between 7.30 and 8.30 family. It's a range. It's a range. Ha! But you know what? Check out the YouTube channel, family, because you can visit me anytime. Anytime, anytime. You can visit me anytime. I'm crazy. I know, family, I'm crazy, but that's okay. I want you to help me figure out where our thing is. Booyah, family. Booyah. Here we are. We have got our chair yoga da -da. Da -da -da -da. are you guys ready are you ready are you ready let's do this family let's do this together always oh, and welcome to yoga with adrian i'm adrian and today we have an awesome chair yoga sequence for you so you're gonna need a chair and preferably one with no arms hop into something comfy and let's get started ah sorry family sorry family <laughs> All right, my friends, thank you for choosing this practice. Let's begin. Sit up nice and tall. You want to get to where your feet are firmly planted on the floor, so your whole foot's on the ground. And if, if that's not happening for you, then you can bring some pillows or some blankets or just find something, get creative to bring uh, the earth up to your feet. So you can pause the video and do that. And then if you're leaning back in your chair, go ahead and sit up tall. We'll start to just slowly activate the muscles that help us find length up through the spine. So inhale, lengthen through the crown. Imagine a little marionette string just pulling you up from the crown. All right, family, we are live. We are let good. your hands just We're rest gently wherever is natural, on the knees, on the thighs. And inhale deeply as you lift your heart. And then exhale, relax the shoulders down your back body. So you're just bringing more awareness and more integrity into the body, but specifically to this line of the spine, right? This plumb line, this center channel. There's all of these meridians of energy, or in yoga we call them the nadis. Um, not naughty, but naughty. And they run through the spine, right? Sometimes we refer to the major points as chakras, but whatever whatever you want to rock in your mind and in your body. We're just going to take some time to breathe, to slow it down and find mobility in a way that's soft and gentle, but also really supportive and beneficial. So when you're ready, we'll start with the soles of the feet. Lift the toes, press all four corners of the feet down, then lower the toes. Lift the toes and lower the toes. Lift the toes and lower the toes. And one more time, lift the toes, spread the toes and release. Great, lift the heels one at a time and then feel that tone, that engagement of the quad. Lift the heels, keep lifting, 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 lift your heart, open your mind to a new experience and then lower the heels. Here we go, inhale, lift the heels, exhale, lower. Good, inhale, lift the heels. Sit up nice and tall and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the heels and exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift the heels and exhale, lower. <coughs> awesome, inhale, extend right leg out just as much as you can. So you don't have to come the full extension unless <coughs> it goes there, then great, yeah. but just bring it up as much as you can. We're engaging our muscles here. So draw the needle in and up a bit. And you're just going to spread the toes here, flex the foot, and then point the foot. Flex and point. It's all connected. One moving part, flex and point, flex and point. Two more times, flex and point, flex it up nice and tall and point. And now here we go, rotating big circles here as you bring it down one way and then the other. Cool. Other side, extend the left leg out. So find your extension today. Engage muscles of the core to support the back. Sit up nice and tall. Here we go, flex and point, flex 
and point, flex and point, flex and point. One more time, flex and point, and then rotating circles as you bring it down, rotate the ankle one way and then the other, and then your foot comes down to the ground. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Interlace the fingertips. You're going to grab the right knee and slowly squeeze and lift. So imagine that femur bone. We're kind of squeezing everything in. You can use the chair to ground down and then lift up here. So we're not here, but we're doing our best to lift up through the armpit chest and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, so everyone's will be a little bit different here. If you can't quite squeeze, you can bring a little towel, like a dish towel even, to be extensions of your arms here and hold it here. Squeeze. And then one more breath here, squeezing and lifting. And then take that right shin and you're gonna cross it over the top of the left thigh. Then flex your right foot here, bring your left hand to the outer edge of your right foot if you can, and then bring your right hand to the top of your right thigh and we create this figure four here and then sit up nice and tall. Now, if you want to deepen this and you're practicing with me and you want a little more, you can bring it to the elbow crease here and lift the leg up. Okay, but there's really no need to push it. Great. One more breath. Fabulous. We're going to come back to the squeeze. So interlace the fingertips around your right knee. Squeeze. Then we're going to slowly extend the right leg out long. So you're going to slide your hands now to the back, to the, to the hamstring, to the back of the leg, and extend it out super long, 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 and then bring it all the way down. Fabulous. Other side, interlace. Here we go. Left knee squeezes in and up. Couple yummy breath cycles here. So you really got to bring the breath. Squeeze and lift. working where you are today, appreciating your body and all its glory, all its beauty, all its limitations. Be thankful for this body that you have. It's the only one you got. So it's never too late to instill this relationship of kindness and love with your body. When you're ready, we're going to squeeze and lift one more breath and then we'll flex the foot and cross it over. Creating that figure four shape on the other side. Grab your foot. And then left hand is going to come down to just gently guide the top of the thigh bone there. Around and down. So I've been practicing yoga for a long time and, and the benefits are really wonderful. So I'm able to sit up tall here. But I just want to honor and recognize and let you know if, if you're finding that you're sweating a little bit here, just sitting up tall, you can one, rest in the chair or use your breath, inhale, breathe into your belly, and exhale, relax your shoulders to slowly start to build more stability right around this spinal column. So you can sit up tall and have a posture that isn't causing pain, a conscious posture. Take one more breath wherever you are here something that's sustainable, sustainable posture. Cool, then interlace the fingertips, come back to the squeeze, the big squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then slide, interlace fingertips behind, slide them behind, and when you're ready, extend your extension, extend the left leg as long as you can, inhale, and exhale, slowly lower down. Beautiful. Hands are going to come back to the tops of the thighs, resituate, reset with a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Beautiful. Right hand comes to the outer left thigh. And you're going to bring your left fingertips either to the back of the chair or maybe you swing it all the way around. You're just going to find a little gentle twist here. You can come up onto the toes if you like for a little more leverage. Breathing deep. Imagine your inhale really traveling down to your belly. So we're not breathing up, but we're breathing down. And then come back to center, take it to the other side, nice and slow. 
twist, release, flushing the body. And if you really want the benefits of a twist, use that directional breath, right? Don't breathe up, but breathe in that breath all the way down. Cool beans. Bring it back to center. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze and lift. And release. One more time. So good, Kelly. And release. Awesome work. Drop the chin to the chest. Stay here, breathing deep. Wrap the shoulder blades around the back body. So really firm the shoulder blades behind your heart space. And then inhale, lift the chin parallel to the earth again. And exhale, left ear over left shoulder. Stay here, breathe deep. Great, inhale back up to center. Exhale, right ear over right shoulder. Tag a little weight in the elbows here, my friends. Breathe deep. Awesome, inhale, come back up to center. Here we go. We're gonna slowly bring the feet over towards the right of the chair. And then you're gonna bring your right foot, we're going into a warrior two, a supported warrior two. You can bring your right foot firmly to the ground, front knee over front ankle. And then you're gonna use your core strength. So think up, draw the energy up, navel draws in and up to slowly walk. And you can also use your hand on the chair to slowly walk your foot out, turn the left toes in, and then slide back so your hamstring is supported here. Virabhadrasana two with the chair. Whoa. And then just stay here, feel it out. Really drop your center, turn the left toes in. And then you can stay here with hands on the chair. Breathing deep, pull that right hip crease back. So that squeeze move we did here, imagine that. And then hands can stay on the chair or maybe we send the fingertips out. Really working from the ground up here, lifting the chest. Now, if this is not if this is not available to you, then so if, if you're here, then breathe deep directional breath. Then you're just going to bring one foot forward, kind of creating a right angle, and then the right foot to the side. So one foot forward, one to the side, and work here. So wherever you are, directional breath, breathing deep, inhaling deeply, exhaling completely, inhaling deeply and exhaling completely. Think about lift, lifting all four sides of the torso here. So the front, the back, and both side bodies, nice and long. Take one more breath, you got this. I know the arms are tired, you got this. And then exhale, bring the hands to your heart. And make your way back to center. Use your feet on the earth to come all the way back. So stay connected to the ground. Great, let's try the other side, really nice work. So we'll walk the, so we'll release the hands. We'll walk the feet towards the left. Just check it out. Plant the left foot firmly and then start to walk the right foot back. You can use the chair to guide you. Turn the right toes in, really press into the outer edge of that back foot. And then use the chair to really support the belly of the hamstring here. And then open up through the hips. Lift and lengthen all four sides of the torso. Maybe you keep the hands down or maybe you send the fingertips out. If you feel good there, stay there. Or maybe you bring the foot back and this is better for you, creating this 90 degree angle with the tops of the thigh bones and breathing deep. Okay, inhale, lots of love in, love your body. Love this life, explore space. So reach way beyond the fingertips here. Take energy way out beyond the physical posture. Notice where you might be gripping or holding, soften. And we'll take one more breath. Breathing really down, down, down into the belly. And then exhaling, hands to heart. Work. Here we go. Use the toes, feet on the ground to come back to center. Take your time. Take your time. Wonderful. Then walk 
um, your bum just a little bit closer to the edge than we had before. And we'll inhale, sit up nice and tall, release the hands, and then keep this upward current of energy. Think up and over. So actually imagine you were holding a beach ball here at your belly. So you have big, big ball here, and you're gonna go up and over into a forward fold. Nice and slow. When you're ready, the spine starts to round. You can release the fingertips wherever it feels comfortable. And you're gonna bring your head towards your knees. Now you might just get this far. You might stay up pretty tall. You might need to make adjustments with where you're sitting on the chair. But you wanna to get to a place where you can take some solid, delicious, feel good, let go breaths. And as you inhale in here, my friends, feel the skin of the back body stretch. Can you experiment with that? Can you feel the rise and the fall? Let the breath move you. Take one more cycle of breath, let it be full. And then first bring the hands up to the thighs, then plant the feet firmly, really feel the feet pressing into the earth as you tuck the chin and slowly roll it up. And then as you roll it up, feel that flash of energy, blood flow opposite direction. And if you need to, if that was a, a big move for you, you can bring the hands to the chair for a little more stability, a little grounding, in case you got a little dizzy or a little head rush. Great, take a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Again, inhale in through the nose, come on. Exhale, let something go. And one more time, let's sigh it out. Inhale with sound. Wonderful, open your eyes. Take a little moment to just notice how you feel. Tap into a little inner smile, maybe even lift the corners of your mouth slightly. Then we'll bring the hands together at the heart to seal our practice. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy with me and the rest of the community, everyone practicing with you. Whoa, how are we feeling family? Oh yeah, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. That was 16 minutes of Zen family. 16 minutes of peace. And you know what makes me happy? It makes me happy because I was able to stretch out my body, right? A little bit goes a long way, as Adrian would say. <laughs> family, don't forget this coyote lost 110 pounds over six years ago using gastric bypass as a superpower, super tool, as well as my willpower, determination, support of my family and friends. And of course, you know, Chef Neil has been making healthier meals and habits with me, family. My partner and I have literally saved our own lives. I was dying at 35, family. I had eye surgeries, multiple laser rings, hurt so badly, they had to take out a piece of my eyeball because I was going blind and losing my sight family. I did not want to accept that. I also had kidney damage. I also had foot and nerve damage. I have little hammer toes. <laughs> I have scars of all over my body of what diabetes has done and ravaged because I literally had it, um, like how they diagnose it from age 15 to like 38 family. And then after that, my A1Cs have, have leveled out since I lost 110 pounds and it started, literally started family with a senior's yoga tape. That's how I started my journey. It was just one habit once a day. And then I added on a little, a little, a little. First it was a little bit of yoga. Then I added a walk outside. Then I started doing a little bit lifting. And then the miles were flying by. So I'm just saying family, I started with, you know, a walk outside, a, a yoga elder tape. Now I'm trying to jitsu three to five times a week family, as well as um, I used to do 15 miles family. 
now I'm going to go nine to 10 miles of cardio a week. So jujitsu, cardio and lifting twice a week family. That's how this coyote stays in shape. But I'm just saying you don't get there right away, right? It took me six years to get to that kind of schedule. But I'm saying family together, together, together is how we do it. <laughs> yes. Hell yes. Hold on. I also have to show you guys my picture because I honestly, I don't think you guys believe me like legit. I don't think you guys believe me, but that's okay. That's okay. Family, family. Yeah. Okay. So this, you know, love of my life, but yeah, this was me. Oh, sorry. This was this coyote. This was me, right? About eight years ago. This was this coyote eight years ago. But I saved my own damn life family. And together, what can't we do? What can't we do together? So thank you for being part of this coyote's doctoral dissertation project. That's what these videos are, family. You are sharing moments of my life. I'm also trying to give back to the community by sharing my life experiences and, you know, sharing resources, right? This yoga tape that we do together, you don't have to do it by yourself, right? You're like, oh, God, Dre, I can't do YouTube yoga by myself. I say, you don't have to, family. You don't have to do anything by yourself. Never alone. Hashtag always with my global family. So I'm just saying, family, you want to try this, but you don't want to do it by yourself? Then log in with this coyote between 7.30-ish. <laughs> Look out for warnings, family. I'll start posting my warnings again in the morning and say like 10 minute warning, five minute warning. I'm really trying to work on my schedule. But you know this coyote, I'm a sleeper family. I am not a morning person. Also, medical marijuana activist, researcher, and advocate family. Don't forget, I am also coyote, former pastor, and ever decolonized family. Just call me coyote now of Coyote's Lodge, House of Spirituality, Critical Race Theory, and Medical Marijuana. Our services family are coming up. They're coming up. <coughs> I think I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna get it out of the way. First Tuesday of every month, I'm trying a new schedule. <coughs> and don't forget family, in Coyote's Lodge, House of Spirituality, we are not a religion, but rather we are a house of spirituality where we work on our spiritual selves, family. We do not ascribe to a religion or a God, but rather we talk to our ancestors when we pray and we ask for the guidance and blessings. <coughs> we are a house of medical marijuana family, not that you have to partake of this coyote's medical marijuana or medication rather, because it helps me walk through this world and be the superpower, superhero that we all need. But rather, family, we ask that you open your mind to alternate ways of healing and knowing, family, right? Knowledge is constructed. And due to colonization, how we see the world has been changed and warped from our true indigenous collective selves. So, family, I continue to try to decolonize. And I'm a hybrid, right? I am both of modernity and a child of my ancestors. So I find new ways, family, to walk through this world. Join me and rehumanize our communities. So Gammy, Papa, ancestors, we ask for your prayers, guidance, and blessings as we burn the sage. And when we burn sage, family, we are we're cleansing this space, right? We're asking for prayers, we're asking for guidance, but we're also asking for what does not serve us to be gone, right? Right, Gammy. Thank you, Gammy. Because Gammy tells us, right, that there's good and there's bad in this world, family. And some cultures call it karma, right? Some cultures call it just caring for your family. But when we walk through this world, when we walk in the light, sometimes the bad sticks to us. It comes, sometimes it comes from inside, right? It could be negativity. It could be self-doubt. It could be anxiety. It could be <sighs> bad influences, family, negative influences in our world, because some people love us unconditionally. And sometimes they don't know how to show it. And sometimes people who seem like they love us do not. So we have to learn how to protect ourselves, family. So I'm just saying, as we walk through this world, remember to embrace who we truly, truly are. Where do we come from? Right? No one has to teach me how to be indigenous. My family 
taught me those lessons all my life. My gammy taught me how to walk through this world, a strong, tall, proud warrior, right? That was my gammy. She faced discrimination. She faced hatred. And she still walked tall. And she still loved all her children. And she still prepared them to live in a world that would not accept them as indigenous people. But family, our ancestors knew. They knew because we are just the new generation. They had been going through these same trials before and they were strong. The shackles that bind us might be ideological. They might be meritocracy or bootstrapping and they might hide the constraints to coloniality and modern day slavery. But our ancestors knew. They knew and they prepared us for this battle. And all we have to do is look within ourselves and find our strength and our resiliency to find our ways of being and knowing is to go to our, our elders and to share knowledge with our young people and to learn from our young people and let it go back and forth. Let the old learn from the young and the young learn from the old because that is how we survive modernity. We cannot afford to live in the past and we cannot be stuck in the future. We need to remember both. We need to honor both. And that is how we survive and thrive. Gammy, your little coyote went to war <laughs> and got beat up pretty bad, but that's okay. You taught me how to have a strong heart because our hearts have to be strong family and that's what today's prayer is for is to have a strong heart to lead with because sometimes family the world puts us through the ringer and although the united states of america marches forward COVID is still ravaging all of our lives and affecting everyone so family, this is your daily reminder that if everything is not okay, that is okay. Gammy, today's prayer is for a strong heart. We go forward into battle, protecting our children, protecting our elders, protecting our families, fighting against a system that does not love us, fighting against capitalism in a world well, there will always be someone a little more desperate to take an opportunity that is not quite fair. Gammy, allow us to have that strong heart so that we can remain calm, so that we can remain strong, so that we can remain a support for our families when they need us most. Gammy, allow us to be brave in the face of adversity, in the face of powers that are bigger than us. Allow us to know strength because we are protecting the vulnerable, protecting what is right and what is moral in this world. As capitalism, as COVID makes every family a little more desperate and afraid for their futures. Allow us to be strong and allow for our hearts to allow us to do the right thing. Because if too many of us make the wrong choices, much will be lost. So allow us to have those strong hearts and to remember at the end of the day, we are all but human beings. Dear Gammy, you are my first example of a warrior woman. I love you. I miss you terribly. And I do miss <laughs> those simpler days when a trip to the mall and a Blake's Lauder Burger could solve all the world's problems. But Gammy, you were preparing us for this battle. You were preparing us for our turn to shoulder the responsibilities of our communities and to be the strong leaders that you need. So Gammy, thank you for your example. Guide us with that strong heart and allow us to make the change we need. Papa, 
I miss you, Papa. I miss your tortillas. I miss your hugs. I miss your advice. <laughs> but I know what you would tell me. You would tell me, Hita, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> your heart will guide you. <laughs> and when you are down, angels come and lift you up <laughs> to remind you that we are all here together and that you are never alone and that the love will come when you need it. So thank you, Papa, for that reminder of un, un, <laughs> unreserved love. To give love openly and without reservation, Papa. That was your superpower. May you rest in peace and may you send us all a strong heart. Oh, family, I'm emotional today. <laughs> when you talk to your family with an open heart, they hear you and they lighten it. <laughs> And to my great great grandpa Pablo Beta, true revolutionary and a subtle public statesman. To my aunties and uncles and cousins and gammies, and to everyone who's gone before us, may you all rest in peace and send us that strong, brave heart as we continue to do honor to your name and memory today. <laughs> I love you. Ah, oh. oh, family. Today. It's going to be a great day. Today is the first day. Uh, today is the first day of the rest of our lives. <laughs> and that in itself is exciting. Even if you're doing the same old thing that you've ever always done on Monday, there's going to be something a little bit different about it today. Because you are remembering that you are a strong, proud warrior that we represent all of our peoples and that no matter how how today seems that it is only a moment in time and that you are never alone but that you are always with your global family so don't forget family let's have a plan let's have a plan let's figure this out together you are never alone so do not despair call a friend <laughs> call a coyote <laughs> I love you, family. I'm off to cause trouble somewhere else. I have so much work to do. I'm going to go to work.